everything we're doing in this in this plan, you guys have done a hundred times. In, in some cases, more than that. All right. So just run the offense. Don't worry about the result. Worry about the process. Worry about the play. Now back to the Fat Frog and your host, the voice of the Phoenix, Taylor Durham. Countdown to kickoff as the Phoenix will look to grab win number one on the season after the setback on Saturday night in Charlotte. We'll visit with Coach Reedbach and Daniel Thompson throughout the night, but we begin, as we always do, with the head coach of the Phoenix, Rich Kraski. Coach, it's always good to be with you on a Thursday night. Thanks, Taylor. Thanks, everybody. Twelve plays, 99 yards, opens the evening. Brandon Gentry gets the touchdown. What impressed you about that 12 plays and the ability to stay on script? No question. I, I think the, the couple things that really stood out, uh, one was our balance. You know, we were able to mix in run and pass, and, and, and then I think our composure. After throwing for the personal best, 322 on Saturday. Coach, his seventh start in the last two years. What's pleased you with, for lack of a better phrase, his progression in the process? I think it happens with every game, every week in practice. Everything, uh, it slows down for him. He's much more decisive. And I've always said this, when you can teach a quarterback to be decisive, uh, based on the information he gathers before the ball is snapped and then when the ball is snapped, everything will increase positively. You know, just from last year to this year, just taking the game of football, you know, not taking it for granted. And because last year, I know, like, until something happens, you just, you just assume you're always going to play football. But then when, when something happens, like what happened to me last year um, with my head injury, you know, it really makes you appreciate the game much more when you can actually play. Just yesterday, Coach shared a video with us from the Patriots, and it was talking about how um, Belichick went in the locker room. He was like, you know, we didn't win this game today. Uh, we won it on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You know, and, and that's something that Coach preaches to us all the time, and we're like, okay, Coach, like we get it. You know, you win it during the week. You don't win on Saturdays, blah, blah, blah. But then when, when you hear a team like the Patriots who have done what they've done over the past decade or so, you know, it really, it really rings true. You know, and, and I think everyone, when we heard that, we're like, okay, well, you know, we really got to step up our practice. The wide out coach, Billy Reebok. Good to be with you, Coach. How much has that helped to have another talented class in this group? You know, they're sending me picks 1 a.m. They're working out uh, on their own, you know, and they're blowing up my phone. And, and when you bring in that type of mentality combined with their talent, you know, special things lie ahead. I think whenever competition shows itself, it, it helps everybody. And, you know, we have it a little bit in the offensive line now. We have it at wide receiver. Uh, Deshaun McNair at the running back spot is all of a sudden Malcolm Summers is like, oh, who's this freshman? He's good. <laughs> You have to go to practice every day thinking like, okay, we're the best, we're preparing to be the best, you know? And like just practicing hard, I mean practicing like that, it becomes like a it becomes like a lifestyle, you know? You just you just walk around with that swagger like you're the best. And we'll just soar from there. Skrowski and Reebok, I mean they push me every day, push me to be the greatest, push our team to be the greatest, and I just think that's all the coaches really want is for us to play to our full potential. When you're out there, you know, especially a younger guy like me, you know, you can be kind of o overwhelmed at some points. But, you know, if you just think, you know, just do your job, don't worry about all the other stuff. If you just do your job, then everything will fall into place. You know, if you have 11 guys on the field doing their job, then you know, we, can we can't lose. I'm just a sucker yep. for pain. I'm a sucker for pain. I got the squad tatted on me from my neck to my ankles. This is what you work for. This is what you run 110s for. This is what you go through three weeks of grueling camp for, you know? If we just let loose and just have fun and play and play football like we know how to play, we could be the best. Like we could, we, we can do this, we can win. So we, we called the mug and that's a, a, a Will Linebacker blitz. My job was the ninth of the day gap. A warm messer, a um, linebacker, he, um, he stepped up to the line, crowded the line, you know what I'm saying, just to cause a little bit of confusion. And the O-line just completely let Antoine Terry through. He hits the quarterback. I'm running full speed. And next thing I know, the ball just pops up. 
I just think about like the Seahawks defense. Like I mean, they weren't they weren't noticeable at first, but then like they just had that swagger about them. Like, okay, we're the best defense. We're the best like defense in the NFL. And like, I mean, people started to believe that, you know, because they, I mean, because they believe in it so much. And if, I, I just feel like if we believe in it the same way they did, like, I mean, people would just hop on the bandwagon and like, we'll start to believe it ourselves. Those are the details leading up. 